It was the crow planet, and it was Mrs. Peacock. <laughs> yes, I did it. And I can't say I'm sorry. I feel I performed a public service. Well, someone had to. And as I'd started the whole mess in the first place, I thought it was my job to clear it up. If only I could have stopped the sale. But my solicitor said no, and I had no choice. And I did think the deposit would come in frightfully handy to pay for the maintenance. I mean, you should see the bills. Anyway, when that odious creature came into my study looking for his contracts, I simply imagined his head was a croquet ball that I wanted to send out of bounds. And I let fly. You see, what Arlington Grange stands for is irreplaceable. I could give it up, but I couldn't let that oaf spoil it for future generations. Oh, it's England. Croquet on the lawn, tea in silver teapots, sherry before dinner. One simply has to maintain one's standards. So, it was Mrs. Peacock who killed Max Gold in the study she used the croquet mallet. My apologies to the other five. You are, of course, completely innocent.